Hello, about three years ago we did a video running a Keurig on a two golf cart batteries and a 2000 amp sine wave inverter. So I just wanted to uh, redo this video. I got a, a bit better camera this time around. And uh, I've also I've got a battery charger, as you can see it's not turned on right now. But I did add a, a battery charger to the system. So uh, other than that, I don't think a lot has changed. I've had to fill the batteries about uh, twice a year with water. With the uh, charger set to uh, 25 amps. If it was set to 50 amps, it might boil them over. So I've been having a bit of trouble with the uh, RC200 controller. I might need to uh, replace that. We'll see if I can get it to start up the inverter. No, so I need to uh, manually turn on the inverter. So I guess it was off to begin with, sorry. But anyway, the uh, on-off button hasn't been working as uh, reliably as it had in the past. Not uh, to pick on their product, it's been uh, on the road quite a bit. So I got the uh, inverter starting up here, 12.91 volts on the battery. The battery was just on the uh, charger a few minutes ago, so it uh, might show a bit higher voltage than last time around. One difference in this uh, operation is that the battery has, uh, it's about zero degrees Celsius out right now. It's about, uh, about winter time. We're getting ready to pack up the van for the uh, winter. So we're going to start up the uh, Keurig as uh, we had the last time around. It's the same Keurig. It's in pretty bad shape nowadays. It takes uh, a lot of noise to make its coffee. And on top of that, you have to run it multiple times to fill the cup. It, uh, it seems to overflow internally. So, there are uh, 130 amps there on the DC. 12.11.28 uh, volts. 118 volts. Hard to take a picture of that screen. It's a bit better than the uh, other camera I used anyway. So again, we'll just uh, wait and see what happens. You can smell the uh, inverter warming up. Not hot to the touch though. I never installed the uh, controller for the uh, inverter or the charger as of yet, so I need to run it underneath of the van, come up through the bathroom, and uh, bring it up with the. Uh, water pump controller. They just haven't uh, found the opportunity to do that. It sounds like the water is done cooking and then the uh, seems to show that on the ammeter there as well. So we'll just pop that up. So again we'll try to get uh, two full cups of coffee see if uh, the batteries are still capable of doing that. We haven't used this system the way it was intended to, so uh, the batteries have been fairly lightly used. They were fully discharged once, uh, I forgot to turn the refrigerator off of uh, battery at one point. We ended up being away from the vehicle for quite a while, so they were very much dead when I got back. Other than that, no incidents with the batteries. The screen went asleep similar to last time's problem. Not a problem per se, but it's obviously trying to save power because there's multiple ways people use these systems. And I assume you can hear the coffee brewing there on the side.
So I'm hoping I can shoot this in one shot. Like the last time the camera died on me. But as you can see, the Keurig there is having a hard time just to trickle, pushing the water through. It's pretty much on its way out. We've just been uh, undecided as to what to replace it with. Well, that's pretty pitiful. We didn't even have <laughs> a full cup. We only got like a third. Usually it used to take a, a small and a large there, I think, to fill up this cup. We're in pretty uh, bad shape with this machine nowadays. You have to keep it in a cookie tray normally because it spills water out internally as well. So there's a couple different Keurigs that you can get. Some of them you can fill with your cup, but it seems like kind of non-hygienic to do that. Because you're kind of, if you were to use a different cup, you'd be guessing. But if you're using your coffee cup, then you're kind of back flushing the coffee maker with your dirty coffee cup. I'm not really too excited about that. Voltage is doing very well. We are connected to the starting battery, but I don't think that it would be providing much uh, support for this work right now. It has an 80 amp breaker on it. So I guess the voltage is high there because the uh, current dropped back down again. I'm afraid to uh, touch this thing other than just to keep the display up because. Uh, said it's been giving me some issues. Don't want it to interfere with the little test here. Let's try his best there to make a cup of coffee. Kind of splashes a bit when it runs like this, so I have to clean up after that. So it's refilling the uh, heating tank. Tank is full. It's cooking up the water for us. Looks like it's ready for another run. We didn't quite get a full cup there, so I uh, guess we'll do two larges and a small. You can see the water is overflowing back into the reservoir, so <laughs> it's not working very well anymore. So we might have made a pot of coffee in real terms there by the time this is done. Sure we don't overflow. This is not really an issue. I'm 
I'm not sure how old this coffee maker is. It's like one of the very originals, so it's, uh, I don't know, it's, it was fairly old when even we did the video. So I'm not sure if it's six years old or if it's nine years old. But we never cleaned it with any descaler or anything, so it's uh, not been taken very good care of. In fact, if we were to clean it now, it would leak more out the bottom, so we can't clean it. So it's uh, good for replacement. This coffee, uh, I'm not going to change the pod, so it's not really going to be fit to drink. Exciting times making coffee. So that's quite good. Uh batteries were able to do this when it's uh, zero degrees out because they have a reduced capacity when it gets uh, cooler and they I have to look at the curve but I think at some point it, uh, the heat affects it as well Another thing we use the inverter for is uh, we have a Samsung 10-inch tablet, and it seems that the uh, when you plug it into a cigarette lighter, it can't charge fast enough, even with like a two amp uh, at five volts. So we use the inverter to uh, run that. We run our laptop off of it as well, and it's nice and quiet. If you get some of the cheaper ones, uh, they make a racket, and when the battery goes down, then they start screaming. So uh, you could be quite pleased if you buy a, a good pair of batteries and a, a good inverter. Right. Fair bit of coffee like material out of it that time. If I dare run a large again, it's nice to turn it off if it starts to overflow. So this camper doesn't have an air conditioner at this point, but we are looking at uh, adding one. We're thinking of just putting a uh, portable one on here. Not sure what that sounds about. Oh, my battery's dying. So uh, I think we'll make it to the end of the test. battery in the camera is down. The flashlight is on the uh, display. Let me turn off that. Flip on another light. Oh, much. We've replaced the uh, incandescent lights and all the light fixtures with LEDs. Other than there's one uh, fluorescent light there. They still make that. I don't remember the name of the brand. They're quite good. And then there's a fluorescent light up here. So I'd say we passed the test because the, uh, the water going through the machine is hot still. And uh, it's going to fill that cup of coffee. 
so the battery has got no problem uh, running probably uh, three cups of coffee through it. We didn't use it too much. Would have liked to in the last trip. We went down to uh, Tennessee. I tell you, we bought a lot of bad coffee on that trip. We didn't have the, the Keurig with us, and uh, it was not very pleasant. So it's uh, warming up another batch there. Surprisingly quick. I'm quite impressed with uh, the way Keurig's work. They're quite efficient. You pour it into a, a thermos carafe there, you're good for quite a while. So we just let this uh, equalize. There we go. I just want to test this uh, device here to see if we can get it to act up again. So try to turn it off. This inverter's off. Oh, inverter's back on again. Not complaining, but it was uh, flaky previously on me. That's good. Maybe we'll get another season out of that display after all. I think they've discontinued the RC200 and the RC300 works with this inverter. So there you have it. we got uh, two fairly large cups of coffee. And uh, the batteries are fine. i got the uh, lights on here. got another light on over here. Nothing is buzzing or beeping or anything. So the, uh, the batteries are underneath. And like I said, I need to top them up twice a year so I'm going to go in there and do that later on. You can't top them up until they're fully charged so this would not be the, the appropriate time to do that. So anyway, hopefully you liked the video. Hopefully the quality comes out better than the last one. So thank you.